It's Handyman Clarence here, and we're back. Hey friends, welcome back to uh, Putting Up the Pom Pons. As you heard it right, Handyman Clarence is back in action. Yes, that is right. I am renovating my guest slash hall bathroom. It had a leak with the toilet. And of course we had to call in the insurance. And since they're ripping up more than half of this kid, uh, bathroom by replacing my toilet, the floors and the counters, I decided to go ahead and replace the tub as well. So getting straight into it in this video, we are doing the tub demolition i'll be showing you guys how i removed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out our mini handyman clearance tutorials in our handyman clearance playlist let's get into it it's time for demolition we are doing our hall bathroom here and we're going to take out the tub so we had a leak with the toilet and they had to pretty much take up everything cut out pieces of the wall you know that hard deal water damage and the insurance covered it so since they're pretty much ripping up more than half of our bathroom up here i figured it'd be a great time to just go ahead and renovate it this is all original 1990 build everything in here is pretty much the same except for maybe the floor and some paint um from when we first moved in so as you can see, I already have some paint swatches here on what I want to do uh, for this bed bathroom. So I think I'm going to go with this one, which is called Nuance by Sherwin-Williams. This is, of course, the original bathtub, the tub and shower insert. We bought all new hardware. You know, everything's going to be a black finish because black is just it okay um this one that we did get is going to have like built-in shelves and we purchased it from home depot it's the delta edition but just to let you know i do not know what i'm doing i am not an expert i'm just a homeowner trying to save three thousand dollars from just doing a shower insert okay that's not even whole bathroom that's just a shower which i think is absolutely ridiculous highway fucking robbery and we were going to buy the tub let me add that too we were buying the tub we just wanted them to take out the old one and put in the new one and they were going to try to through that absolutely the fuck not i will not now of course if i come across something that i feel is outside of my expertise or i'm not comfortable with of course i will seek out a professional all right so i had to throw in those disclaimers so everybody understands what you are working with i am not a professional i don't know what i'm doing so starting it off i am removing everything out of the shower this is my daughter's bathroom so we're taking out all her body wash all that good stuff removing the shower head as well as the valve pieces the bath spout faucet spout whatever you want to call it um we're moving all of those things and I'm also going to do a budget at the end of this video so you can have a clear understanding of how much money you are going to spend so right here I'm starting to mark off what I need to cut into the drywall in order to remove this shower piece and I'm going in with a straight edge ruler mines I believe is three feet long it might be four feet long it's four feet long so then I had my husband over here struggling to get the bath it off we didn't know if it was a slip on or if it was a threaded one it was definitely slip on then to remove the uh, water control the valve piece um, that just took a couple of screws and then you have to remove the drain piece that is also attached here and you're supposed to use this little fancy tool right here this is my first time doing anything like this and as you can see I am struggling right <laughs> had a call in for backup so I ended up bringing my husband in and I thought I was doing something by adding gloves in because I have princess fingers honey I don't do hard work over here most of the heavy lifting is done by my husband. I'm just the brains and the annoying one that just has to get it done right now. So here goes my husband. He thinks he's, you know, macho because I asked him for help. This is why I hate asking him for help because he thought he was doing something. And this is where I messed up at because now he feels like, oh, my, my baby needs me. I, anything that looks like hard labor, I need to come and rescue her. And you know, I was going to let him have that toxic masculinity. I was going to let him go ahead and ride on that wave. So here I am going in with my oscillating saw. <laughs> I know. I know my correct terms on my saws, guys. I know. And then right here, I'm just cutting through the drywall where I traced it the line. I think I did about six inches away from the tub and as I was you know getting my groove I was fine here comes Christian oh babe no let me do that we record and I can't have people looking like I don't be doing nothing he don't be doing nothing y'all don't let this fool y'all he does absolutely nothing but I was like you come right ahead baby mm -hmm. show them how it's done show them how to cut some drywall 
You think I am going to do all this hard work? You go right ahead, sir. You want to feel all that arthritis in your wrists and elbows from the vibration of that saw? You go right ahead, sir. Let me not stop you. So here I'm over here with a hammer trying to figure out how I'm going to get this drywall off because I couldn't figure it out. I'm taking a freaking screwdriver and everything. Finally, I found me a way into it and I'm just like, oh, okay, this is easy. And then here come Christian. Oh no, baby, come here. Let me help you out with that. You can't be pulling on drywall. You just, you just can't do that. Let me help you. So I was like, you know what? You go right ahead, sir. So here he is with all his shoulders and his muscles and his backbone thinking he's so damn genuine with it. I'm like, you go right ahead, sir. But it was nice watching him. And I'm just over there directing him on what he need to do. <laughs> exactly. Project manager. We don't do hard lifting. So after we remove all of that, you're going to see where the tub is connected to all of those studs. And Christian is just removing all of those screws and nails. So when it comes time to remove the tub insert, you're really just picking that bitch up and hauling up out of there. Now, the problem with picking that bitch up and hauling it up out of there is it's too big for the doorway. So we did end up having to cut it down and we use a reciprocating saw to cut it down. So this is what it looked like. All the drywall has been removed. Um, again, I did six inches away from uh, the tub surround. And I think I ended up going back in and having to cut some more off because the new tub surround was just a little bit taller than the old one, which was no big deal. Just go back in with the straight edge ruler, trace your line, make sure it's nice and even, cut it with your oscillating saw and then remove everything. So here Christian is again, cause again, he feels like, oh no, baby, I gotta do this for you. There's no way you can handle this reciprocating saw. And I was like, you go hard ahead, sir. So he starts cutting, but he's scared, right? Cause he's just like, oh, it might be electrical behind the wire. I don't wanna electrocute myself. I'm like, no, you missed the macho man. Go ahead and knock it out. You got it. But I was nice. I went ahead and looked behind there for him flash a little flashlight back there. I was like, no, baby, there's nothing back there. Girl, bye. I, I couldn't see nothing. I was just waiting for him to electrocute himself so I could go ahead and collect on that life insurance. I'm joking, y'all. I'm really joking. Don't pay me no mind. So yeah, after we cut it, we cut it in, I believe, four sections, three sections. This is the first section. Then we're going to cut off that real big one right there against the wall. And then that other piece where all the valves and the faucets and stuff is. So there was a good thing that Christian did, you know, want me to check behind there for electrical because on the other side of that wall is a bedroom and it's shown enough with some electrical wires running right across that wall. So luckily, he saw it. He did check. He was like, no, nah, baby, there's a there, there's a wire back there. We got to be careful. So that's why he decided to cut it in half so he could see exactly where the wire was. You know, smart man. I'll give him that. That's probably the only thing he did right the whole time. And I was like, look at him. He's so smart. Him so smart. So I'm going to let y'all go ahead and finish watching us remove the rest of this around. And it's fairly easy. It's just like demolition is the easiest part of any renovation. It's also the funnest to me because I just love tearing up shit, seeing the inner workings of a house and how they put stuff together. It's just very interesting. It intrigues me very much. And then also watching my husband do all the hard labor is also fun because he don't do much else. So I might as well take advantage of this.
So here we are, everything has been removed. The tub is now hauled away. Here's what the slab floor is looking like. It looks really good. We did have the contractors remove the rest of the tile. They came in like the following day and they also patched up any water damage sub flooring we had going on too, which all that is included in the thousand dollar insurance deductible that we had to pay for. So here is the budget for everything, all the tools that we needed to use just to remove the tub and shower surround. Here is the grand total, $213.81. We will have all of those tools, a link down below in our description box. You can purchase these items on Amazon. Of course, when you purchase things through our Amazon storefront, it helps to grow our channel and we greatly appreciate that. We will see y'all on the next part of the bathroom renovation where I will be installing the tub right before the floors are installed. We will see y'all on the next video. Be blessed and be safe.